Hi guys and welcome to part 2 of this uh, journey on Musical Fidelity Model FX Audio Amplifier. So in the first part we identified the fault, we fixed the fault and we saw that the boards are working. So in this uh, part 2 we're gonna do some measurements with the oscilloscope to see the real power and we're gonna also do a sound test to see how it sounds, you know, that uh, it's obviously. And uh, I want just to let you know that I look online to find some information about the right bias of uh, this amplifier. I couldn't find nothing. If any one of you have, please direct me to a link on the description down below or let me know how I can uh, find a manual service of this amplifier or something that will gonna tell me how many millivolts or how many chiasm and current I need to set up on uh, on this amplifier because well, by my knowledge to set up a class A amplifier should be over at least 800 milliamps so already is drawing this amplifier in Kaisen current 500 plus 500 milliamps almost one pa one amp uh, a full rail from minus to, to, to positive so yeah without further ado let's get to my working bench and uh, do these uh, measurements and a sound test I set up my uh, function generator to 500 millivolts with 1 kilohertz and I just find some specs of this amplifier it's not telling me about bias but it's telling me about uh, the, the voltage for input so it's 600 millivolts it says that the, is the sensitivity input and should have around uh, 90 watts in 8 ohm so let's turn on so we have and let's bring it to 600 until clipping to see the maximum power of this amplifier so we will gonna go up up it's not yet in clipping so we are in 600 so we are expecting now to clipping yeah so already clipping there so we are here and we are getting 28 volts RMS from it on 1 kilohertz so if I do the math quick so 28 times 28 equals 784 and if we divide this one to the load if it is 8 ohm we are getting 98 watts power into 8 ohm with this amplifier now let's set up to a, fre uh, a frequency sweep to see how is skipping the voltage from which frequency to which frequency in the same level so we're gonna start from the frequency from the 10 hertz let's see 10 uh, hertz 10 hertz so let me create the hertz and uh, we can go here with the with the input uh, sensitivity lower a bit so if i go to let's go to 500 millivolts to don't be properly in max power and we're gonna see if the voltage on the output goes up and down so we start from 10 Hertz and in 10 Hertz we are getting 25 volts uh, RMS so let's increase so if I go frequency and if we are increasing from frequency let's see 20 we go to 23 volts what in 10 uh, Hertz is the voltage higher yeah so in 10 volts looks like the voltage is higher and on 20 Hertz already the voltage drop with the uh, 23 volts RMS then if we increasing we getting 23 in 40 Hertz we are in 23 in 50 Hertz we are in 23 then 23 again so we are staying flat up up to here 70 let's give to the scene wave better okay so we have uh, seven, uh, 70 hertz let's go 23 volts we are in 7, 23 volts 100 hertz we are in 23 volts let's go higher 200 hertz same 23 volts on the output 300 is 22 22 no 23 volts power 100 staying 23 still flat we are here and let's bring it quick to one kilohertz to one kilohertz we are properly flat let's do this one like that let's give an auto set better and let's go higher we're gonna go now in kilohertz so two 
3 kilohertz over here the voltage is still the same still flat we are going a bit higher now in voltage i can see now it's 23.6 so yeah we are getting higher in voltage but the signal still clean still clean and flat actually it's going a bit more up now it's 23.9 so in high frequency this one tends to go up in the power like that it will gonna boost your high frequency on the speaker which is sound nice so i can smell already the resistors from my dummy load and we are in 17 uh, kilohertz and the voltage is still up 23.8 mm, let's go more up oh you can see 24 someplace here no now it's going a bit it's starting to go down so we are in 21 kilohertz and the voltage drop a bit so it's 23.5 but still like how it was in uh, 20 kilohertz 20 hertz sorry so 22 kilohertz still uh, flat 23 kilohertz flat 24 flat 26 flat and it's keep going flat up to 30 kilohertz so as really large bandwidth and it's keeping in the power in the same level so that's good now let me hook up a speaker and uh, play a sound to see if it's doing very really nice sound. I have everything hooked up over here so you can see I have uh, the speaker, a very cheap one because uh, I use this one in case if anything might goes wrong I will not cry if I burn an expensive speaker so it cost me maybe only five pounds this speaker. And I use the microphones, these two and we're gonna record in the mono because I say I'm gonna do a, a stereo sound when I'm gonna have everything uh, in the case so let's have a look a uh, quiet song with just a guitar how it sound <laughs> Let's see also a sound that has a bit of bass on, so maybe we're gonna try this. song from here
what I can say about this amplifier. So let's start with number one about the power. So 98 watts into 8 ohm, guys, it's really a lot. Maybe you see there, there is a lot of people say 5000 watts amplifier, 1000 watts amplifier. Why you need an amplifier like that? Why? If you are doing parties in the large rooms, I will gonna say yes, you need a powerful amplifier, lots of speakers around to fill the room. But for listening in your apartment or in your flat or in your room, I think 98 watts also is too much. It's maybe enough a 50 watts amplifier with a really nice sound, with a really uh, lots of dBE and with sensitive speakers, and you can hear every single instrument on the song. Oh, then about the frequency response, we saw that it stays flat from 20 hertz up to 30 kilohertz is enough large bandwidth to handle all the frequencies and to keep the full power on all these frequency. And then about the sound, it sounds really nice, quiet, is not noisy, there is no hum, there is no hiss coming through the speaker and sound really clear, really nice, really natural. I would like to know also your thoughts about this amplifier, so please do let me know in the comments down below what you think about this amplifier. It's good that the V shall invest money on changing the capacitors and then bring it to me to fix it because uh, he messed up with this mica insulator and with this uh, thermal paste of the for the PCs that uh, looks like is electrical conductive because we was giving me like 50 ohm something like that between MOSFET and uh, heatsink and I fixed that problem and now really sound good. So if you enjoy this video. Please give me a like and don't forget to subscribe and activate the notification bell to don't miss the next videos. Also the part 3 when I'm gonna work on the power supply because what I saw there is not a really nice power supply. So maybe we're gonna change something over there. So yeah, stay tuned. Please subscribe and uh, don't miss the part 3 of this amplifier. Until the next video guys, have a good day and bye bye. <laughs>